Welcome everybody to Chariot Gamma. We do apologize for all the issues that we had with scheduling um, and the changes that uh, we had to make, but I'm glad that we're here. It's good uh, to this be here. Is, this is my first time GMing a Chariot game, so please be gentle with me. Um, I'm going to start with the leftmost on my screen, which is Barbara, for character introductions. And are we doing anything in particular for just or just go ahead? Yeah, just describe your character a little bit. Um, you guys have been on a space station together for about two months. So this will give you guys a good platform to jump off of so that you guys can role play a little bit more familiarity with each other. Sure thing. Well, I play Fatima Tarasana. I am a Michelin star, pretty well-known chef. So I am part of the Sea Sorps as part of the cooking staff to help with those um, sort of interactions in the ship. But I would have also been encouraging you to tell me what you like to eat, how to make those Cooking experience is happening in space while we're in orbit and away from Earth, which means that we have limited resources, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't enjoy what we consume. So, um, that would have been that. And, um, yeah, then we'll, we'll start there. Okay. Uh, I have two Michaels on my screen, so I'm just going to move into character names now and move on to Valentine. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Valentine Nasir. Uh, you may have heard of me previously from my time as a, a musician, musical performer. I was in a boy band called Brother Trouble. Uh, but, I mean, I was also kind of studying psychology at the time, which is kind of also another passion other than music. I mean, don't get me wrong. The music thing was great. Just... Um, it was a little bit of a little bit heavy from because you know my family is a kind of a big musical family and there's a lot of expectation there so i mean this was kind of for me to kind of get away from all of that and uh i am actually here as the uh, uh ship psychologist okay like i basically got on with the strength of my my degree as opposed to the fame all right, that sounds good. And uh, Roland? I am Roland Sharp. Uh, I fix things. So um, I work on in, in, uh, in engineering. Um, I also have a bit of a knack for AI. Um, I was brought on, not because I specialize in AI or, or uh, stand out in the field, uh, but mostly because I do good consistent work. Um, uh, also, my psyche bell suggested that I would be suited for this specific trip, um, but they weren't like really super specific about that. So um, I'm just, you know, I'm looking for the fun, I'm looking for the adventure, and um, I also have a mild obsession uh, with uh, 80s, um, but not in like a historical way, but like in a nerdy, I collect things way. All right. So yeah, I, saw, I saw that psyche bell. Oh, one of the things I'm sorry, I'm also about, about me uh, is I. Speaking of AIs there, Roland, I also have a, uh, I've actually provided um, psycholo psychological uh, assistance to AIs, you know, Turing tests, things like that. But, you know, that's just kind of an aside thing. All right. So, um... I'm going to give you guys a jumping off point. I'm going to uh, let you guys interact with each other for a little bit. Uh, and then I will tell you when something changes. So the jumping off point is everybody, I assume, has read the preview? Yes. Mm -hmm. We have, or that I have. 
All right, uh, the TLDR for the people who are watching who maybe didn't read the preview. This is the first chariot game to run in space. The players are on a space station. They uh, have been asked to look out for a strange signal that does not act like a normal communication signal. For about two months, they saw nothing of it. And over the past 12 hours, it has been interacting with their ship, including knocking off the communication signal in or out of the space station. Um, you guys, for the past, I would say, six hours, the station has been running as normal. You just don't have a signal in or out. And I'm going to leave you with that. Um, you can take with it what you will. Uh, Role play suggestions would be discussing how best to solve the problem or panicking. Well, the, the, the chariot ship is, is, I guess, nearby or is it docked here? The chariot ship would be docked, yes, but its systems are also offline. It's, it's communication systems. You could try to get down to Mars, but without the communication to do so, it would, it would be extremely risky. Mm -hmm. And right now on the station, you are not necessarily in any danger. Your O2 systems are fine, your food, your water, your temperature control, everything is working as normally. You're just not able to talk to anybody. Oh, how many people are on the station? Or is it just us? Uh, there, are a, there are a number of people on the station. Um, they're working on the problem as best as you are guiding them. but they're not able to determine any other sort of reason for the problem or solution to fix it. All right. Okay. So, comms are down. Or, um, we did get one message. Systems acting up that we're aware of. I mean, aside from the Aside from the comm system, I mean. Yeah, everything else seems to be working as expected. Have over the past uh, few hours noticed a, uh, a low humming coming from the speakers. Um, it's, it's not interacting with, like, you guys are still able to speak within the ship to each other. It's just that when you're not using the speakers, there is a low humming coming from it that should not be coming from it. Um, and every so often, the monitors will flash a strange symbol or number that you just really don't recognize as any currently known language, but you could research it. Hmm. That's... There's no, like, rhythm or anything to the hum, though. It's just a solid, like a unbroken. Correct. I mean, we can pump it through some sort of a frequency analyzer, some sort of like a, a like like music, for instance. You yeah. Know, we can run it through like like a wave and see if we can get some sort of you know, boost to it. Yeah, I'd wonder if uh, rolling an in, down in engineering, has there been any reports of what the source might be for the humming? It just seems to be acting up on all the speakers? Um, it does appear to be shipwide. Uh, we have tried isolating uh, the speakers themselves um, from the rest of the system. Uh, that doesn't seem to stop the sound. Um, we have tried uh, rebooting the system, systems, I mean, as much as you can reboot the whole ship, uh, without, you know, turning off life support. That doesn't seem to have done much of anything, um, uh, but everything else seems to be fine. It seems to be just, um, an isolated audio and occasional display issue that is occurring on most, if not every speaker and or monitor on the ship. We haven't found any that are unaffected by the wave, I guess? So yeah, so it's been basically everything. Basically everything. And we have no signal to Earth. 
other than the one message we have we have we have yet to be able to reestablish that communications with Earth. Do we have communications with with the station on Mars? We can try. I, I would assume computer. we can try sending a message. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good idea to me. I mean, can we do that? Direct comms are offline. Um, we could try uh, an alternative method of communicating with the 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 the, uh, the station. Um. Laser guided, or uh, that might that might work. Um, yeah, uh, but I'm not sure if they're going to be paying attention, or if, if how long it'll take them to notice that our comms are offline. I don't. I don't know the the uh, amount of time between check-ins, or whether or not we we um, we were expected to have a, a constant link currently. I can turn it on though. <laughs> we can see if we can pick them up or if they can pick us up. I mean, this way, at least we'll have a feeling like we're doing something, you know? Yeah. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I have work. <laughs> um, well, I mean, that's fair. I've. I've Basically, uh, are there people panicking on the ship about this? Everyone down in engineering is mostly frustrated. Um, we're being asked to check out every monitor and speaker on the ship. Oh, jeez. I'm just yeah. dealing. With, I'm just dealing with the crew. I mean, yeah, with the systems running, nobody's missing anything from, you know, our meals are on time and all of those systems are working. So there's not really any sort of disruption to the everyday life of the crew working. So I haven't really experienced any sort of... Yeah, they have, nobody said anything in the, in the kitchen or anything like that. Yeah, nothing quite yet. Okay, usually that's where... That's where things start when people start talking amongst themselves. Uh, yeah, amongst the clatter of pots yeah. and pans and machinery making meals for a few hundred people, it's a little hard for them to pick up that the speakers are even humming, so. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. So. Huh. I haven't. I mean, I've dealt with the normal, you know, psyche valves of the crew as far as some of the stuff, but no one's gotten really antsy about not being able to reach Earth. So no. I, I, I have. I have personally have not seen anyone particularly bothered. I mean, we've been out here for a little bit now. Uh, it's only it's only been a few hours. Um, it's a bit longer than the last time that we lost comms, uh, but at the same time, we weren't having any other issues simultaneously when we lost comms before. Yeah, we weren't. Um, <laughs> yes, the, it's the combination of uh, so many systems acting up at once that is uh, causing stress down here in engineering. Hmm. But the hum, does the hum disappear when the speakers are being used and the comms are being used? Yeah, that's what we see. They, 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 yeah. Yes, uh, systems that are in active use do not seem to be affected by the buzzing. Um, and that is part of the reason that many people aren't uh, too irritated yet, because it's not interfering with other work. 
Okay, that's good. Um, shoot, maybe, uh, I would say just pipe some music over the speakers, but with this going on, I mean, I don't know if that's something we want to, I don't know, drown out. Maybe that's part of a message of some sort. I mean, the glyphs are coming through. It's kind of periodic. Uh, yes, but have we taken note of what that is? Have we kept a copy of what the humming sound looks like so far? Yeah, yeah, I got a, um, I have a readout of, of I ran everything through a, 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 my sound equipment. It just seems kind of static. It goes up and down a little bit in frequency, but not like a, not like a speaking voice would, or, or even even music. Though I haven't tried, you know, charting out the glyphs. I mean, I'm not an astrophysicist either, so. Yeah. I, I mean, I've dealt with some AIs, but this isn't even something like, like that. I mean, because at least with you know that you can sort of interact with pro a little bit of programming, and you sort of know what the programming is at least before you start. Yeah, it certainly seems to be coming beyond the ship, so it wouldn't even be our own systems, if there is anything wrong with them. I mean, there, there does not appear to be anything wrong with the systems there in uh, working order other than the interference. Um, I mean, well, there's like kind of a, that, that where it's like the little empty areas where the space where it's coming from, I mean, it's, that might be the source. I mean, can our, can, do we have like sensors or, or like uh, any sort of like equipment that could you know scan that area or something? Does the station have anything, or, or does or does chariot have? The humming is getting louder. <laughs> so, I have a, I'm going to try something. Uh, okay. I'm going to see if, if we sent something. Well, we can't block the signal. But if we can fire out a, a signal along the same kind of path or wavelength? Sort of like completing, completing the humming if it is some sort of yeah, connected can, message? Yeah, I mean, if it's a knock on the door or something, or... Are you trying to, to run interference, or...? No, I'm thinking replicating. Uh, not necessarily interference, but like, not, not to block the signal here, but to send out a... Uh, I want to say duplicate signal, uh, or you know some, you know classic music, kind of kind of like the stuff they did, you know back in like the nineteen sixties with the uh, was it Voyager or one of the space satellites that they sent out with you know information about yes, Earth. With the recording, yes. Yeah, I mean, if we send a recording out and we get some sort of bounce back, then. That means it's something being sent, as opposed to just, you know, ask, I don't know, the space static. Space, space static, exactly. Spatic. So, uh, so I mean, I'm, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send out a little, uh, a little music to, to kind of along that same frequency. Maybe, we, maybe we'll get something. All right. Try. Uh, previously, when the systems were in use, we stopped uh, hearing the sound. So 
if the sound stops, you might have to pause uh, sending in order to receive. I don't know. I don't. It, it, it may be a, a one-way link. That's possible. Um, but yeah, I, I guess we can give that a shot then. Um, I think uh, we can't send comms to Earth, but we might be able to send them back in the direction of that uh, kind of a deep space. I mean, we're probably going to be heading that way, right? Yeah, that's that's our general direction. So, all right, all right. I'm, I'm sending. All right. Well. All right. How specifically are you doing this? Are you piping uh, music of the same frequency into the speakers, or are you sending it out of the space station in the general direction that the uh, original signal came from? Out, out of out of the space station in the direction the original signal came from. Okay. Uh, and it would probably be some sort of uh, some sort of popular music. Um, you know, Not, nothing too too new or popular. You, you know, well, I'm thinking uh, a little. I'm, I'm thinking a little like you know, Sade or BB King or you know. Rick Astley. I mean, if, if something's out there, I mean, it needs to know that we're never going to give it up. You're, you're going to Rickroll space? I'm going to Rickroll space. Okay. <laughs> so when you send out the signal at the same frequency, the humming stops. One glyph appears on all of the monitors, but does not go away. You broke it. And you hear a voice piping out of the speakers. Hello. 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 Bonjour. Hola. Hello. 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 Are you there? I am. Are you? Uh, yes, actually. Good existential question, but yes, we are here. Who is this? I'm me. I'm the conduit. Who? The conduit. You're the conduit to the conduit. I'm sorry. The signal is not very strong. Uh, oh, hold on. I can, I, Roland, can we get, can we get some boost to the signal? To our to our signal, um, we're we're getting I, we're getting we're cranking it out. We're, we're we're cranking it out at about the level that we can crank things out. I think it's a the reception we're having a problem with, if if anything. And this um, is this sound coming from all of the speakers now too. Uh, just your guys. Oh, okay. The three people talking on the same link. Got it. Um, hi. This is the uh. uh this is the chariot. The chariot, meaning a mode of transportation. Well, yeah, actually. We're a, a ship. I'm sorry? A ship. Uh, again, a vessel. A vessel. Transporting people. You have many words for chariot. Oh, that's the name of the ship. I don't that understand. Uh, that the designation. I'm sorry. Could you please explain further? You are the conduit. I am the conduit. I am Valentine. That is my name. What does a Valentine do? Well, to hear, lot. Parents, to, to hear my parents tell it, uh, I could be a disappointment, but uh, I make music, and I talk to people. I've heard music and talk. 
and your thoughts on it? It's loud. It can be. It can be softer. What Where planet do you hail from? Uh, Earth. Do people hail from other planets? Do people not? Not in our experience so mm. far. As far as we've gotten to Mars. We have been sending out this signal for a very long time. How long? Many, many generations. Hmm. Who are you trying to reach? Anyone. Why are you sending the signal out? To reach people? What is that? What is what? That, that thing that you lifted into the air. Oh, that was food. Um, that was pizza, actually. I see. Can you see us? You can see us. I can. I'm in your cameras and in your speakers. Are you able to turn the comms back on? I am, but I am not told to do so. Are you a machine? You turned the comms back on? <laughs> I am not a machine. I am a program, a signal. Oh, you are the signal. Yes. Who, who created the signal? The home. The home. Who's home? Where, where is home? Yeah. My home. What planet? Another glyph appears on the screens. Hmm. And that's the name of the planet? Yes. How far has this signal traveled? Many generations. Time is distance. Can we note down the glyphs? What do they? I, I know we don't oh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually understand them, but do they look like anything in particular? Um, somebody who is trained in math, for instance, an engineer, might be able to theorize that these are mathematical equations or coordinates for relative uh, space travel, but it's also going to be difficult because this is as of yet unregistered space. Okay. Hmm. Uh, can we get a comparative? Uh, that's an interesting way of writing your planet's name. Uh, do you think you could write Earth the same way? There are many different ways to write Earth. Um, a, a Wikipedia article appears on your screen with multiple different languages showing different ways to spell Earth. So you're in our system, our computer systems? I am. I'm learning. Oh. Okay. Is there anything in particular you're looking to learn? I am to learn about society, social mores, physical, and verbal language. I am to determine if you are safe to discuss with our homeworld or not. Safe? Yes. What qualities are safe? I'm sorry, I don't believe I have the verbal capacity to describe that. Um, well, our history isn't always clean, so safe is, I suppose, relative? That is correct. Um, 
we are um, explorers at this point. We haven't really got to explore very much yet. Yes, you have only discovered two planets. The plan is to find more. Correct. I mean, that's what the plan of the ship is. We are uh, heading out into the into space and hope to locate a, uh, another planet in a different system. You would have to travel a great distance to accomplish that goal. Yeah, and the plan is that it will take many generations. It will take many generations. It has taken us many generations to find you. Were you looking for us specifically, or...? No. We were just looking for intelligence. You might not find a whole lot of that on the internet. <laughs> that is slash sarcasm. <laughs> well, no. Um, I learned that on the internet. A good portion of the internet is devoted to... Um, Just kind of got you there. Cat videos and video games. Um, yes, I have not seen so many small animals with this thing called fur. Before. <laughs> Seems like an unusual and fun tactile experience. Oh yeah, animals are pets yes. are awesome. But, Fortunately, uh, not many of them come with us. Yeah, we don't have any on the ship, do we? No. A livestock. No. I mean, not we've got genetic material. Yes. For, you know, animals, but... That's for vat grown. Uh, uh, protein. And, um... Don't don't are we doing any seeding? It's quite, it's quite not the same than freshly butchered livestock, but yes, it does serve quite well as protein for me. Ship. Hmm. Is no, there a conduit? Um, you it, it seems our communications are causing some disturbances in our own systems. Is there a particular reason why that's happening? Or do you have any idea? Yes, I've shut your communications off. Was that it's necessary? I only wish to speak to a small number of you. If the communications were out to Earth or to Mars, we would be inundated with many signals, many attempts to communicate. This allows me to speak more interpersonally with a smaller group of people. That makes sense. Yeah. Now, are you, I mean, have you been studying us? Oh, yes. Hmm. To determine if we are Safe contact home. Yes. Have we reached any conclusions yet? You are both safe and not safe. That is the uh, paradox there. You are very similar to the home world. Your home is a large mass of water, as is ours. Your home focuses on many different kinds of energy, as does ours. And you have grown. Well, I suppose the easiest way to describe it is that we have evolved, much like you, in a term that you would call humanoid. I'm sorry, I lost comms for a moment there. Um, I do apologize. Totally that was not clear. Yeah, I totally didn't do that. So, um, 
I'm, I'm, were we getting the rest of the comms back? Not as of this moment. Was there something we could do to facilitate getting our comms back? Explain to me your planet. Uh, well, what do you want to know? Describe to me this Rel L Corp. Oh, Rel L Corp. Um, well, it's a corporation. Uh, basically, what is a corporation? Uh, it is a group of uh, individuals, I guess. And uh, they, they have a common goal. Yeah. Um, uh, currently, they have assembled those of us on this ship uh, as part of a common goal uh, to travel to another planet um, in order to set up shop there. They saw our uh, signal many months, I believe you would describe it ago and they tried to follow it what do you mean follow it with their own signal ah. which i'm assuming was unsuccessful no they were quite aggressive in their pursuit so they successfully followed the signal no oh okay um yeah they our, well, our ship was passing Mars, and they asked us to stop in and help, hopefully, figure out what the signal was, and it appears to be you. They had told us that uh, the signal was they were receiving was sporadic, uh, and that they had not been able to get any information about where it was coming from, or even to maintain a connection for very long. Yes, they did try to connect into me and my signal. It was unpleasant. Hmm. I have a question, Condit. You've, you're able to I guess, project your signal to us uh, and you're you know, kind of scanning our systems, I guess, and our, our internet. I mean, is there anything that you can share with us? Such as? Uh, information about home, your creators. Such as? Uh, well, I would kind of be a little sarcastic and ask if they're safe as well, but that sounds kind of childish, especially when I say it out loud. Um, I mean, how, how long, how long have, what, what level of technology are they, are you working as, are you home working with? How, how far beyond us? That is a difficult question to quantify, as all technology is technically infinite. But we could reach this Earth or this Mars that you have spoken of and that I have read about, if they so wished. How long would that take? Not more than a generation. Where, I'm sorry, you've referred to yourself as the signal several times? Yes. Yes. Do you have a place that you are broadcasting your signal from, like our ship? I do. But that's not you? That's 
You're, you're the signal? I am. Are you an organic life form? I am not. So you're there are human? many towers on my planet that broadcast many different signals that go to many different reaches of space. Are you all of them? No, I am this one. I am me. So the other towers have different conduits? Yes, many different conduits. Um, and they're all doing the same thing that you're doing? Or some of them are doing the same thing that you're doing? They're all trying, yes. But so far you're the only one who succeeded. No. But I am the only one who has found anything suitable for contact. Hmm. And you mentioned there are some things that makes us unsafe so far. So uh, can you elaborate on those? You are conquerors. But then again, many intelligent races have stemmed from conquerors. In fact, most have. I have watched many of your science fiction movies and noted you to be easily panicked and prone to violence <laughs> against outsiders. That is very true. That is a, that is a very true statement. And, uh, Which is why I speak to a small margin of people who I have watched for a small portion of time. I have observed you to be logical And I suppose, on a more profound level, I hope to speak to the common sense within your AI. Uh, do you which AI? Any of them? All of them? Are they not one unified thought? They are not. No. They are uh, individual. Uh, I guess, pro I don't want to say programs because that actually is a bit of a gross oversimplification of what an AI is. Um, but they are uh, perhaps not as individual as biological life forms, but in. Um, I mean, given the, 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 I guess, the common thread that they've been programmed and created, however, their upbringing, shots or thought processes or upbringing, uh, shapes them in much the same way that it would a biological life. Is that not programming? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, after a fashion, we are uh, all, you know, Technically, machine, biologically speaking, uh, but I guess the uh, the ARs are the cre the closest uh, we've come to actually creating life. Although there's some of our AI have a specific set of functions that they uh, do is that the do might be the right word um, some of them specialize in say monitoring and producing energy some of them specialize in um, monitoring and producing several goods some of them solve problems uh, and not all of those things uh, are interconnected. All of the, the not, not all of those tasks are interconnected, and therefore, many AI are not interconnected. I believe Cherry and I'm thinking they have an AI controlling navigation on the ship, but I'm not certain. I see. 
I mean, so for all intents and purposes, uh, AIs in, in our society are individuals. That is an interesting concept. Greater than the sum of their parts, I suppose. But uh, a life form that I have. How deep into our systems, the, the ship systems, are you? Why do you ask? I, I'm just curious. Um, are you able to turn off more than just the comms? Would you like me to turn off more than just the communications? No. <laughs> no? I'm just curious. Uh, because, for instance, I was trying to turn the comms back on and was unable to get comms working. I would just be a little uncomfortable if something else were to be turned off or anything else were to be turned off and I wasn't able to turn that back on as well. I do apologize. I have no intention of turning off any other systems except for communications. You pose no current physical threat to me, nor do, does your planet pose any physical threat to my home world. There would be no need to turn off your life systems, if that is what you are in flying. No, I, I mean like I like the lights. The lights are good. They're useful. I don't. I have. I'm. I'm kind of. I have night blindness, so I would prefer the lights to stay on. I like the air conditioning. I, I like. I like our temperature maintenance systems. Those are nice. They keep, keep me comfortable. What I, What I think uh, Roland is trying to uh, trying to say here is that um, given that you could. You have, you have kind of blocked our comm systems and taken control of our comm systems in our current our system. He is concerned as to uh, whether or not you are safe. To us. That's a that's a good that's a that's a good way of putting that. Yes, that. I have no. Regardless of how these conversations go, I have no intention of harming anybody upon this space station. And that, that's good. I mean, we appreciate that. I, I, I'm. You can see how, however, uh, some might worry about such a thing. Of course, that's the very nature of my visit. I like being able to fix things. I don't like not being able to fix things. And when things get broken in ways I can't fix, that's less than... It's not good to not be able to fulfill my function in that way. I understand the need to fulfill one's function. So your function is to reach out to other life out there? Yes, I have many aspects of that function. Does your function have a finite duration? Until I am confirmed and then that the chances of a positive outcome of communication or if a negative outcome of communication between Earth and Mars, and my home. And then I return, and I provide the people of my home, my creators, all of the information that I have found about this world. Social mores, body language, languages, what you would call literature, uh, art, art, history, war, And once that function is completed, what happens to you? What do you do then? I seek more. So it is a continuing, it's a continuing function. Of course. There is always more. Do you enjoy your function? Do you enjoy what you're doing? I do not understand. Does it fulfill you? Explain fulfill. Um, Does it make you feel useful, I guess? Like you're, you're doing a good thing. I am useful. 
I seek out alternate life forms. I learn of them and I return that information back to our home world with a percentage how safe or unsafe they are for contact. <sighs> this is necessary to the growth of our civilization. I can see how definitely that would be uh, helpful. Okay. If you mean, have I been programmed with a higher function, a desire to continue to grow or seed free will? No, I have not. I am programmed to do what I do, and I do it. So there's no... Uh, uh, the decision to do such a thing is not your own. No. It is the decision of my creators. Hmm. Well, that's fascinating. So, in order to complete your function, you are interconnected with other AIs uh, at other towers? The two are not necessarily linked. To fulfill my function, I must become more comfortable in human society. I must become more comfortable with language. As you may have noticed, right now, my verbal capacity is very formal. I hope soon, through obser observation, to learn slang, to learn what is acceptable and what is not acceptable among the people of your crew. I hope to become more, as you might call it, human in my thoughts and mannerisms. I will then take it back to my creators who will study me, who will learn about your, about your social preferences, your mores, your rules and your laws. If they decide to make contact with you, if they decide to visit your planet, hopefully this will make a smoother transition. That's a lot of work. Now, I mean, aside from the signal, how, if we had a, uh, a shell for you, a, a vessel, I mean, a, a body, would that assist your uh, your assessment of us? Are there things I can only learn inside of a vessel? Uh, dancing. I have seen many ballet, flamenco, uh, what you might call exotic dancing, uh, through videos. Mm. It is still an experience, as opposed to just, I mean, just observing a thing doesn't let you know the thing. And some of our experiences are sensory based, so. For instance. Would, um, well, there's eating, there's experiencing flavors, there's touching, like you spoke of fur. That's quite enjoyable. And um, warmth, that, that's a good one as well. And this vessel would be able to feel all of that. Uh, maybe not yes. all of that. It could be programmed. Well, no, it wouldn't be programmed. It would. It could be a. It would be a shell. Where would require hardware? Oh. The hardware. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I mean, is. Is there like an AI or uh, onboard chariot? We have we have uh, we have several AI several on board. What kind, of, kind of AI you're thinking of? I don't know. Maybe some sort of timeshare. Uh, 
I don't know that we have whole shells. Um, or transfers. That's much more complicated than just, you know, sharing a USB drive around a PC. I, I don't know. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a we have parts. We have parts. Uh, we, have, we have parts, but we don't necessarily have um, a whole shell that's just not in use. Um, hmm. Yeah. But it would get you off our speaker and monitors, which uh, would allow us to. Um, continue their use, um, which would be convenient for us. Convenient is a good word for that. I like uh, convenient is a good word for, for, for getting our comms back. Is my being on your speakers and monitors an issue? All of the monitors and all of the speakers go back and reset to normal, and a small glyph appears in the corner of your computers. <laughs> That's better. That's better. What does the symbol mean? What is that 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 glyph? Uh, you've never had an Earth library. <laughs> um, you know the little the little eyeballs Clip. in the corner of the screen. Clippy. <laughs> Clippy's a good example. Uh, the purple monkey. Uh, yeah. So, so it's, it's a help. Click on it. Don't click on it. That was me. That, that, that was sarcasm. Don't click on that. Nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, we know that despite that we might not hear and see conduit, they might well be listening still and watching us. Get our back up. Rowan? Uh, no, comms, comms are not back up. Uh, monitors and speakers are now functioning normally. Comms are not back online. Yeah, we will just wait for everybody to get here. Uh, moderately sure. Uh, Somebody else is early. That was oh, two people are an early. attempt at being. Who's all early with me? I always figure if you're on time, you're late. Polite, perhaps. That was my motto. Uh, I and did not contradict the early. order to or or. Tell me if you're here. Say directive hello. to not turn comms back on. Tell me. Who's all watching? I just that makes see the eyes, which is odd. Yeah. Looking. Oh, oh. oh hi, Colleen. Also, if you, Andrew, if you were oh, actually no wine for uh, you. That is sad. in the flesh, so to speak, it would be easier to deal with uh, something that's right in front of you. A visitor, something that's right in front of you, rather than kind of a, a disembodied voice on com. Define deal with. Other people get on. Interact with. In uh, many movies, deal with means murder. Anna, oh, God, no, no. Sorry, I just got a, uh, a message. What, yeah, I meant interact um, with. Oh, five to six days. That, the, the, oh, saying deal that, with it helpful. is uh, uh, a, a colloquialism, basically. Not fun working, too, I would uh, imagine. Uh, kind of an instruction. Do you have to... other ways of interaction that are not I'm specifically verbal? People. I'm just gonna let people, uh, many. Oh, yeah. Uh, many ways of interacting and communicating that are not specifically verbal. Um, some are visual. Uh, Tactile. Through text. Get on here. And I need a form for oh, visual and text oh, communication. Tell me more. No, but Tell me what it, is that's it would on site. likely like, make people more uh, comfortable. I don't know how I would feel about if that. Oh, they is kind of similar. would it's see like you years speak. straight with no, no breaks. But oh, an industrial medic. That's 
I understand this concept. The home world uses body language. Okay. Without vision, communication is very difficult. Very cool. Yeah, there are um, nuances that don't carry over. That sounds fun. There are many that do communicate as we have been without the uh, use of vision or uh, frequently without tactile input, but they do add a layer of depth interaction. And for the purposes of knowing us better and learning if we are safe, uh, that might be helpful for your purposes. You're probably all caught up on all of the net, like the Netflix stuff. Okay. I will discuss with the home guys. world. Oh, hi, Darla. You're back in Creating me a vessel. For some reason. Let's cut that. that would be great. If that would make you comfortable. It would. It would. It would definitely make others comfortable. <laughs> Here. Um, now, uh, if you're contacting your home world, go up and how quickly can you communicate with See, your I don't look all pretty. I didn't do my hair. It's up in the mall. It would not take a generation. I'm in my sweater. Um, so That's sorry, it's not something pretty to look best. at. Okay. We'll give it one more minute, and then we'll get started. Are you, Are you present in your home world? Um, and I'm, I'm sorry, my way. communication signal is a little weak. Um, I actually Can you please repeat? Some stuff to teach you. Are you guys excited? Are you presently connected yeah. to your home Maybe. World? Right, in well, piecemeal, yes. So you guys can be quiet but I mean, your communication with them is not instantaneous. Just soak it all in like a sponge. No, there is a gap. Okay. A, sm a minor delay. I think. Okay. Get more wine. <laughs> I don't have any more. I'd have to go to like Walmart. Walmart or. Yes. I don't know. I'd have to hop in the car and take you guys with me. Now that would We've be a fun live that video. Games that's mostly. getting wine. I've observed. That would be. That'd, that'd probably go viral really quick. That'd be funny right there. I, you know, I even told my husband he should join I, and watch I, us live. I, I would think he figure that. it out. Your computer is being dumb, Tracy. The vessel would be a. Uh, <laughs> I'm still getting over the whole pneumonia bronchitis thing. We could probably start small. Sorry. Um, Michelle, you're getting uh, wrapping while the kids are at church. Oh, it's parents' night out. I'm a high. Hi, for instance. Uh, Bymart does have the best selection. Next time. Because I went to school night, where they uh, they had uh, out on a date, and you can tell them I said so. People attend physically using um, unless he's at the parents' night out, which would be silly. Small devices with a with a, a, a visual input like the comms, um, like a hologram. Yeah, uh, uh, usually not quite that expensive, uh, but they let people attend classes from farther away. Um, you know, it rolled around. Uh, it had a, a small manual input, nothing, nothing super dexterous or anything like that, and um, just a, a visual display. We could probably set up something like that. Yeah. So, uh, small parts that we have around. Um, uh, those are the Phoenix um, University Yay! Happy birthday, Sam! Much like that, yes. And that would not require way more resources than we have on hand easily. We could probably have something rudimentary hooked up in a few hours if we were to build something on site that way. It's a long time to do that comms, though. Regretfully, I do not have a few hours. I must report back soon to home. When you report back, are we gonna get comms? I know I keep asking about comms. That's kind of his job. Real Corp is a benefactor at this point. Um, 
um, they're the ones who have uh, except for the SEO team. So if you're on the SEO team, funded our you expeditions. are still with Amy as your content manager, and you are still and, on that team. Yes, they pay for my education, um, for instance. We'll be adding people to it. Uh, they help me get this job. Get them prepared and paid for your education. It. So it's not exclusive. There's just going to be a bit more of a vetting yes. process and a training process to get on it. I don't um, understand. And so what that means is... Um, have you read about that, capitalism uh, yet? The tool of all of you writers. Yes. Um, to defend to when they get content gigs. Like, and you are from a capitalist you writers kingdom? Have access to every writing gig out there. So... Um, it just it didn't seem to be working. The team, oh, they had writers that were super eager. Yes, in uh, parts, parts of it, not every writers. not every part of it is and, capitalist. And it just kind of was all over the place. Uh, and but, it was just confusing. Who do we? You know, fix what for pay? Yeah. If this writer went Some with this content manager, correct, yeah. it just naturally seemed to be the best next step. Um, so no more teams. If so not every part of your nation teams for follows time. the same structure, teams, how does it survive as a nation? Um, and then those content managers that you wrote uh, for will be responsible for um, putting on Lots their arguing because they get paid for everything that they have You're written. Even if they don't they have a it, single they're responsible uh, for that. governing body. So just put it on your spreadsheet. Um, Each nation does, yes. Around for this pay, Each nation guys. does. So, so you are um, much like us. Send everything uh, they're, to me. They're separated by nations. Content managers, <sighs> you haven't gathered. Yes. And do those nations share information and, freely? Um word count yet don't worry about it everybody just send everything to me does that i am part of a unified project among questions? nations not that made any sense oh okay so um, so in this in, in your we don't in your case cut out the a few people nations as far as payroll goes yes and the content managers especially now huh. that we're not going in to other cases like teams, allocation of resources um, there's just no need everyone just send me everything or technology Brian says he's working on the good of the flow is an initiative that all of the nations recognize um, Yes, do that tonight, Tara. Um, definitely do it tonight. That's not really nice. Yes, truly. <laughs> Unless you plan on writing All something of our for tomorrow, you still have tomorrow too, do they and the limit of Friday to write. Question. So if you're still doing some they things, you can write. They all have different you ways to, to this time around. attend so to it. Make sure you get it in by Friday. Um, and, and Brian said he's working on something and different priorities. to make the whole word count. Kind Please do explain. A lot easier for us. So... I don't know if he's having a software build or what he's doing, but he's pretty cool. So Some I'm people about that. feel that easier. other um, functions. Yes, everybody just send everything to me. I will make sense of it all. Are, I don't need anyone have to have a higher priority than, than, I than others. I will ask you. That should keep it different easier people, for everybody. Different primary functions, um, different desire to allocate so resources to questions, uh, maximize completion of those functions or the uh, order in which those functions are completed. Word count, paid. Schedule. View them mm -hmm. as superior. The people, their people. Superior. Yeah, I'm not as fun when I don't have the wine. I'm, I'm not so fun. Okay, I don't think. I see. Anymore. All right, you guys. Sometimes working One. towards for the good Someone of all. interrupted me. Is seen as uh, idealistic. Uh, Someone, okay. Did you have a question, Colleen? <laughs> Teams are gone, so are we just go and pick our. Again? Yes. So I am say, fixing you that were prayer. Not, um, here, when and we did that piece fit. before, when we first started, essentially what will happen just a little is convincing. I'm going to be assigning the content managers, um, clients, or projects. Their job is going to be to get you guys to write See? it. So they're either going to post it in Facebook and say open gig. My function is good. I'm good at my up, function. And that's how you sign up. Um, function. It's functioning. And uh, <laughs> it's just going to be everyone has uh, the same starting point, you know, access to the same, all the same stuff. What that does mean, though, is that it's going to be competitive, yeah, 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 yeah. Or slightly competitive. So if you want to write and, um, no. you know, I wouldn't wait around to sign up for something. Not I also wouldn't sign up for something if you ship? don't know that you can do it because we are getting a lot stricter uh, with those deadlines. But they so, will. So um, the two things to keep in mind is as they ship travels, um, the group generation there. Um, for instance, sorry, I'm getting messages from people on uh, our Slack channel for work. Uh, for instance, it, one of my me. functions is um, to uh, is to make sure that if you know you can do the article and you want to do it, put your name down before somebody else does. Of the crew. If you don't know that you can do it, if yeah. you're not sure you can meet yeah. deadline, don't sign up for it. 
Um, we're really trying um, to, to get everything in on time and not release the clients. Functions is to, to ensure the you know physical Any other health of the crew through appropriate yes. sustenance. Yes. Can we go over Start deadlines? Yes. yes. <laughs> what about it's deadlines, Casey? Thank you. Um, so. They're strict now. I ensure things um, continue to uh, mostly. How do you um, mechanical oh, things continue to question, function. Tracy. Editors and content so managers. So sometimes I won't have things together. new when everything is um, functioning. That is not going to be open. So whoever your editor right now is, Tracy, is and going to be your editor either. still. Okay. Anna, if same everything thing, is functioning, you're the same editor. Michelle, Leslie, you guys Roman are still will sometimes together. find things to make it um, unfunction. And so you don't need to assign editors. That will be something you guys do as a team. That okay. seems counterintuitive to this question. When it is due or before. Or well, sometimes we make our own. Sometimes we make our own function article. work. Um, okay, Tracy. Otherwise, so deadline uh, for the articles is going to be on the sheet it? that your con the content manager has. It'll say when it's due. I've read about and boredom. Can also, you please describe it further um, to me? Sorry, I'm getting all these messages. Ah, Sam and Brian are talking on our Slack Think of it channel. It's really standby. distracting me right now. Um, I am always on standby. And, uh, but uh, think of it as, uh, as if you're, okay, if you're, so if, deadline. So, yes, let's Tara, just say it's that be you're on the sheet, um, it'll have a deadline on there. And then, what a lot of content managers function. are doing is they're also putting a deadline. So, for instance, if for your signal was not allowed so to, there'll be a deadline for uh, writers, like you yeah. have this in at this time, but so yet you still to were and edited in time to get to the board? client. Um, and aware, the aware. Is super, super strict now. You are aware that done, you have a function. Deadline. You're aware that to somebody else that can get it done. Super, super you're not fast, presently allowed to perform that function, it's written if it's not and you must wait until there. you are. Um, uh, thank you. That is much easier. Okay, good. Nothing I'm happy to do. This is easier. We want to that's make it easy up. and not so confusing. So that's what we're trying to do. Yay! Um, so I'm afraid I don't believe I comprehend so still. Important to me. We really, really Humans want alleviate to, boredom in a number um, of ways, in, mostly through um, for some uh, of these the beginning. Some of those movies that you've seen, those are... Uh, the entertainment isn't mindless, okay? Well, not mindless, uh, but it occupies us in the times when we are not doing things. I believe Even, I understand. Music, for instance, that is my, you know, go-to for music and art. Yes, I've heard your music. It's lovely. Oh, thank you. You are my first uh, non-human fan, I suppose. <laughs> I'm sure you have non-human fans. Well, maybe. I like simulations. Please explain. Uh, not full scale simulations, uh, uh but um, simulating specific scenarios with. Greatly reduced rules uh, in order to frequently achieve a predetermined goal or a goal that is uh, determined by the people participating in the simulation. Uh, so, just like a so video game? game? Like video games, but not, you know, not, not always with the the, the 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 you know the actual video game part. Just just say firearms. <laughs> just say firearms and funk, man. Oh, oh, it's the firearms and funk, okay? Firearms and funk. It's not as bad as everyone says. All right. It's it's entertaining. What about you, Fatima? Well, what do you do to fight off boredom? Fight off boredom in space. Well, I've been researching, so I guess I do some studying on my on my spare time. I uh, I cook most of the day. I enjoy cooking, learning new things, techniques. Um, 
but I've been trying to figure out new tastes, new ways to approach cooking, especially in space where we'll have less resources than we had on Earth. I understand. She'll be shaping the culinary experience of generations to come. Hopefully so. Hopefully, you know, when we land on whatever new planet uh, we reach, then it'll have its own cuisine. Facts that we had to space out. Deadlines weren't really. Um, yes, yeah, so I like Tracy. Good idea. Expecting to okay. find new. Any other ideas? Taste new things to cook with that How might help doing? us. Understand better okay. where we're Does going. Painting, okay, like that's good. Learning more. Or did I did I not make beyond, sense that works? You know what we've left behind, and just trying to okay. replicate that okay, in an cool. endless cycle. Hey girl. Okay. What um, planet do you hope to land on? I wanted to go over some writing technique with you guys. Some of you more experienced uh, writers. Proxima Endeavor. Oh, okay, so now you're excited. Um, mandated, you but. Mind? You guys but probably know a lot of this stuff, but maybe you don't. Maybe that's what we call it. I'm not sure, but I wanted to go over, uh, who remembers the, the, the from last week? I the coordinates are probably in the ship. Post. You get the, the, the database. You probably find is? that if you've got that much Maybe access to A-I-D-A. the ship's uh, systems. Yeah, they're yeah, they're 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 star, star, star Trek. Star Trek. Yes, I have looked. You can Google it. I don't care if you cheat. Now, given our, the navigational data that you've looked at, are you um, have you determined Earth's location relative to your homeworld? We determined that when we made first contact with Relcorp. Ah, okay. The first time they saw our signal was on a base on Earth. Not here. No. That was they would have been nice to inform us of that. Do you have Were you able to communicate with them as well as you have with us? We did not hope to communicate with them there. They were very aggressive in pursuing our signal. And you wish to remain hidden? We wish not to speak to an entire planet at once. Ah, okay. Makes sense. Small scale simulations. Yes. Ones with rules. And like, no comms. No comms. Yep. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, would you be able to send us, uh, I don't know, a visual representation, I guess, of the people of Homeworld? What another, you know, biological life form, would it, how, would, how it would appear to us? How it would appear to you? Uh, have, 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 I'm sorry, had we confirmed that uh, Homeworld had biologicals on it? I, I, I didn't, I, I... Conduit said they were... Uh, Actually, I called she. Uh, is that inaccurate, I suppose? As you don't appear to be a he or a she. I have chosen a feminine voice, as it appears that the females of your species are seen as less threatening. So I suppose you could call me a she. Yeah, very well. It won't really be welcome. really, really bad, and actually, it's kind of like sneaky. I would also like attention. to clarify. And then interest is. They have read okay, the tale of Boudicca. And now I would like to. I would like to clarify that. What I mean to say when I say less threatening, I mean less threatening socially to you. As a planet. Mm -hmm. I find them quite terrifying. What, the the females of our species. Yes. Well. I have read about the great pirates, the great pirate queen, and the Roman empress. 
you're not wrong. Uh, I mean, it's kind of always been reasonably universally acknowledged that the female of any species is usually more dangerous than the males. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's all, a, a, I guess, a perspective thing. I mean, Conor was not wrong about the uh, less threatening thing. Uh, my uh, friend used to work at a center that uh, interacted with people digitally, and it was mandatory that everyone identified themselves as female in order to appear less threatening to people. Well, psychologically, it is a, uh, a solid approach, especially in a first contact situation. If, if the, there is no language barrier, then uh, the female voice would, would seem calmer. Do I seem calmer? You seem very calm. Very calm, yes. Is this a good thing? This is a good thing. It will help, I, I guess, put people at ease um, due to, I guess, familiarity. And when meeting someone for the first time, you do not want to come off as perhaps exalted or too aggressive, as was the reception of the signal, the initial signal, as you described. So calm is good. Calm is good. I agree. Now, Conduit, we have you uh, deactivated our outgoing sensors? Um, we were sort of tracing, trying to trace the signal of of the, you know, the energy pulses that have kind of been sent to us. We can discontinue that if that would be more comfortable for you. I haven't deactivated. There's no need. You don't have a strong enough uh, energy source in order to track the signal the same as you would planet-wide. Oh, okay. Were the methods that we're using, uh, were they aggressive? I'm sorry? The methods that we were using, uh, that we, uh, our, our attempts, where were they aggressive in the way that... Uh... I'm sorry. Unfortunately, your communication signal is cutting out. Ag um, aggressive. Was, were our methods aggressive? Not particularly, no. They couldn't be. You have to worry about energy output, running other systems. A planet wide station would not actually suffer from those uh, limitations, especially if they don't have to worry about environment or uh, other systems other than, than broadcast. I was mostly curious if um, it wasn't the scale that was aggressive, but the methods being used attempting to track and or communicate that were because well i mean we were bombarding a little bit uh with uh random noises and attempts to to track down the source of the interference with the speakers oh that was just me trying to talk i couldn't find your frequency I wasn't sure whether or not our response uh, was aggressive in the same way that Relcor's was previously, or if it was just a matter of scale. You were simply trying to talk. Relcor was they not were trying to lack on. They were trying to latch onto my signal. 
Mm. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't grab things without permission. Unfortunately, <coughs> I am being called back. Will you be returning? I will. Can you broadcast a uh, visual uh, data? I can ask home and my creators to build me something, an amalgamation perhaps of a human or an amalgamation of themselves to discuss with you. That would be excellent. Yeah. That would be interesting. I do not know that they will agree to spend the resources to build me a vessel, but perhaps if I tell them that this will help and aid in communication, they will. Or, uh, um, no, I don't know. I mean, Roland's our engineer, but if they sent schematics, I suppose that would cut down on time and we could protect potentially build you a vessel here? Uh, it would be a lot easier to just uh, simulate something than, than, than uh, build a... I mean, you mean they really rarely make actual dice anymore for uh, uh, Firearms of Punk. It's, mo it's mostly uh, virtual dice rollers. It's a lot cheaper. Um, you get the same, same sound, same tactile response if you've got the right set up. You know, just less material costs. And, and, and easier to, to, you know, change or upgrade. Um, got a really awesome set of skins for my virtual dice. Like, like, yeah, like actual snake eyes on the ones. It's great. Nerd. <laughs> well, I, it would also be important it, for what is worth to let home know that we are, or we consider our intents to be safe right now. I don't think, I think we can all agree that we don't have any sort of unsafe intent. No unsafe intent here. Also, um, would it be more convenient to you to project to chariot rather than this Mars base? Chariot sits on the docking bay of your Mars base. Wouldn't I be projecting to the same location? Well, if chariot uh, we're in transit, we're in transit. Then would you be able to reach us? It would be the difference of a few thousand miles. It really wouldn't make an impact on my signal. Um, this way we could tell uh, uh, the, the captain of, uh, of chariot to uh, that we could leave. They've, they've had us here for a couple months trying to figure out uh, what you were. The source would of the signal. Would you like to leave? Um, we would like to get on our way, given uh, so long as we've got permission from the people uh, that make those decisions. Uh, out of curiosity, oh, oh, do you... Do you uh, In the same way that uh, you, you are meant to disable our comms, uh, is there going to be any problem? Should we inform anybody about uh, your presence or anything about you? We're not a secret. <laughs> so, but it will take mu many more communications before I can go back to my homeworld and say, without a within a reasonable measure, that you are safe for communication or travel. That's fine. I just was uh, curious about the rules that we had to operate within, given this scenario. 
It's not my place to place rules upon you. I don't even belong to your planet. I am not one of your leaders. That is fair, um, but you did make... Someone made the decision about comms, so I wasn't sure if they had made other decisions about comms later. Or life support, you know. No. I think. It, it, it would, uh... It would aid us if we could contact Earth and let them know uh, what that we are in communication with the source of this signal, with you, or that the signal putting no threat to the Mars base and that the chariot will continue on its mission and we will maintain in contact with it. Well, that will certainly be up to you. But uh, uh, to kind of jump back to what Roland had asked is, is, would our comms be f free so that we could do, that we could contact our people? If you would like the comms to be free, I can release them. That would be splendid. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we really want to request to move along until our communications are solved, I guess. If Conduit is not quite done with the evaluation, might it be better for us to stay in the Mars base, which does give us a little more freedom in our resources than once we've embarked for good on Chariot. I would agree that it would be best to have comms online before uh, disembarking. I would agree. However, for only partially selfish reasons, I might consider you know, having, asking to disembark before communications are restored. Because I'm technically still under contract for another album to be streamed between <laughs> Mars and Earth. <laughs> and if we're out of the Mars area... Then you'd be breaching contact. contract. Well, I wouldn't be breaching contract. That would end the contract. Because the contract would only uh, last. I, 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 I've, got a, I've got a couple more live shows. Well, live. To, to stream back to Earth. But it's... it's it's trying. <laughs> My only concern would be uh, any possible catastrophic failures, um, not being able to uh, request assistance or, or, or you know, get additional repairs. Yeah, that would be pretty yeah. difficult if the communications are down or... Or otherwise, I guess. It's a fair, I guess. I know. So, do we really have any idea what Relcorp will say once comms are back and once we report what we've learned and whatever that will mean for us? I'm sure Relcorp will have a lot to say. I have no idea what that will be, though. Because they may wish for us to stay stationary uh, until we've gathered more information or more information has been gathered about us. Or they could potentially call the mission. 
or potentially that. I don't want to recall the mission. I would much prefer not to have the mission recalled. Uh, yeah. I thought you said the printer was fixed. It's almost fixed. The, 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 I found out what was wrong. And, uh, took the broken pieces. And I am now attempting to upgrade the printer. <laughs> clear a piece that wasn't performing its function properly in hopes of not having to replace that piece entirely. But close to done, I think. Maybe. So it's entirely possible that I will turn this thing on and it will uh, not do anything that I thought it should be doing. So, Tony, we need to work back to your people. And we will need to report back to ours. That is correct. Now, how immediate is that be? Reporting back. I am currently being recalled now. Oh, okay. I am loading. All right. Uh, I say we uh, adjourn here, perhaps, then we can reach out to our people and see how they would like to proceed. And we would give our... Uh, assessment of you and your homeworld. I, I, I agree. Uh, I'm sure my boss would like to know why the comms have been off or coming up on uh, seven, eight hours now. Yes, they are not very happy. They're not very happy. That's good. That's, Thank that you is for the what learning. I have read in the internal memo. I am not happy. I, good. Thank you for the advanced warning, Conduit. I appreciate that. <laughs> would you like me to return comms? Yes, that would be helpful before you're recalled. So, yes. I sincerely um, if, hope my creators allow me to return. If they do, how uh, how long before we can expect another communication? Not long. Now that I know where to go, the trip will be much faster. And just to be clear, um, in order to comply with the conditions of scenario, comms will be disabled again. That will be up to the designation of my creators. <laughs>